come at last Rest my heart and raise my hands I'm gonna leave these blues behind For summer I'm a fool to find He won't care and I don't mind Hide me, babe, hide me, babe Morning, everybody. Cap here, and today is going to be a different shave. Uh, well, it's going to be a usual shave, but I'm going to be shaving off my goatee. So this this is kind of a big deal um, for me. Uh, I usually either have a goatee or a mustache, but because uh, I guess it's summertime and it's been so hot, I've been getting a lot of irritation, and I guess it's from my psoriasis. And uh, so I'm going to just shave it off. Let it heal up, see how it goes, and then I'll grow it back. I think it's been it's been a while. I don't know if I've ever shaved my mustache with a straight. So I might have once. So we're going to see how this goes. I've never um, really learned how to shave my mustache area with a straight razor. And it's one of the most uh, uh, sensitive areas when it comes to shaving with me. I, I get a lot of irritation right there. So i tell you what I'm using today. I'm using Spitfire from Phoenix and Bow, and it's leather, juniper, and tobacco. And this stuff is great. Very good. Uh, I love it. It's um, just overall good, good soap. If you want to learn how, uh, how I feel about it, uh, look back in my other shaves and you'll find a, um, a review of it. Uh, I'm going to be using the uh, Wolf Whiskers my grade a silver tip badger i've got it blooming and then i'm going to be using the fred k finney the tally ho this is a 1800s razor now why i'm using this to do this is because this is a very very sharp razor it's very sharp uh surprisingly sharp so um let's get to it first we're putting on some oscar's oil sandalwood pre-shave oil. This stuff works great before and after the shave. I really love this stuff. I'll definitely keep it in my den. And my face is uh, still pretty wet from the shower. I just got out. My beard still pretty wet. I watched a couple of videos where people shave their whole beard. There's one of them has got like over a million views, 1.3 million. He has this long beard he hadn't shaved in five months. That was a great one. So I'll probably be nicking myself right in here because I got bumps right there and just the hairs, which, you know, my goatee right here hadn't been growing out very long. So that shouldn't be that bad. It's up here. All right, let that soak in for a second. It's funny how men's facial hair has went over the years. You look back in the uh, 40s and, uh, yeah, 30s and 40s, 50s. Uh, Probably all the way up to the 60s. Uh, completely shaved was a thing. That was the uh, the ongoing thing for a guy. But now it's the direct opposite. Long beards. Which I can't grow a beard, so. Alright, we're going to put on this bloom water. I'll just, uh... I'll put it all on the hair, mustache. Oh, this stuff smells wonderful. Wonderful. Oh. That juniper berry. That tobacco and the leather. Mm. If you hadn't got any Phoenix, make sure you pick up some. Phoenix and Bow. Hitchens, England. That's where they make this. And it is a... Uh, it is well worth it. There's a couple of artisans that surprise 
surprising everyone that's outside of the United States. Groin Leaken, I believe that's what you say, how you say it, over in Sweden. Uh, she's making some uh, fantastic soaps. I'm fixing to order me some more, some of her new line, and see how that goes. I don't even know if my wife knows I'm shaving this yet. It's gonna be a surprise. Walk out of the bathroom. Surprise! Alright. I'm still trying to learn how to use this wolf whisker, this knot. So tight. My goodness, this stuff smells so good. So good. Love the smell of this. And on the opposite spectrum is my obsidian. It's just deep scent, earthy. I love. And I do an extra lather and I might load up again. While I'm doing this, I'll tell you my plans for this month, maybe a couple months. I'm going to be focusing mainly on the one pass shave. I think we've gotten away from it. We've gotten uh, such uh, such used to preaching and teaching the three pass shave or the two pass shave. You have to do this. You have to do that. That we forget how to do a one pass shave. You know, when I shave with my Mach three, uh, I just done a one pass shave with a lot of buffing action action, and uh, that's what I'm going to get back into. Because if you think about it, that's an art to itself. You know, learning how to get a, a close to BBS shave with a uh, with a one pass. You really got to know how your hair grows, um, your razor angle. talking all this so I don't think about what I'm fixing to do. <laughs> right now it feels fine, but later on during the day, it gets so irritating, so red. So itchy. That, uh... I mean, that's why I cut my hair like this. I gave me another buzz cut today. Fabulous soap. So I'm going to talk more about it tomorrow about my ideals of the, of the one pass shave. Uh, what I'm going to try to end up accomplishing, how to learn, basically how to do it, get a good quick shave and still enjoy the process of shaving. Cause that was the one thing I like about the three pass shave is that it's three passes. You get to shave more. Which this year I've, uh, well, in the last few months I've been doing a lot of two pass shaves and I used to not even do that. I used to do a whole lot of just one pass shaves. All right, Fred K. Finney, we're just going to shave. See what happens. hair and something else. Gonna make clogging up my sink. But 
that would be going over the benefits of a one pass shave. I'll let it back up and go over that one more time until it's already red. I'm very irritated. Not from razor burn, just uh, Sorry about that, I got a phone call. When I do, it messes the whole recording up. I'll tell you this, Fred K. Finney is so sharp. Amazing. I didn't go all the way to skin, I went across the top to just remove some hair. Last time I've done this, which is probably the easier way to do it, is uh, I took my mustache trimmers and cut it down. But I know there's some sadistic people out there that like to watch people shave their beards off of sh <laughs> with a uh, straight razor. I've done watched plenty myself.
I'm gonna wash up and lather again. We'll just do a another pass just to clean up. And I lost about a 20 years, didn't I? <laughs> Funny looking. What a brush feels good. Not so much worry about uh, how much hair it gets off, just uh, the basic mow down. thing about this tray is I can get it right up under my nose. That's such a big nose. Good. See how red it is, though. That's uh, that's something I'm gonna have to uh, really get used to. Cause um, that is my most sensitive area. I never. Never have uh, been able to get real close. And uh, I've always dealt with razor burn, irritation. Not really razor burn, just. Just irritated. I know I was preaching about the one pass shave, but doing this just because, make sure you're still on, just because I had um, lather there and I don't want to waste lather. Good grief. I 
I know a lot of y'all are gonna be mad, furious that I, I have no facial hair now. Mm. Terrible. Guess I'm my gentleman. Let me throw some cold water on there. Oh, yes. That is a. Uh, that was different. So what y'all think? Y'all comment and tell me. Maybe the uh, swelling will go down pretty soon on my upper lip. I'm probably gonna... Since I was using Spitfire, which is like this old school scent, I decided to pull out something it really doesn't go with it, but uh, it's kind of along the same lines as Club Man. It's an old, uh, great barbershop scent. This fabulous brush. This thing is beautiful. I actually don't hang this one upside down along with the Zeus. All my other ones I do hang upside down, but this one and the Zeus I don't. Uh, uh, throughout history, they didn't have uh, razor brush stands. Not everybody did. So, all right. So, I'm gonna put this, uh, what is this, iced? Aftershave Balm by Fairhope uh, Shaving Soap Company. This has a good bit of menthol in it, a good kick, but I used it yesterday, and uh, you're talking about helping out. It, uh, after I put my club man on my face here, I'm gonna put this stuff, seal it all in. This stuff has a lot of menthol in it. it uh, it's a good kick. But I had no outbreaks afterwards. All day yesterday, I felt great, except in my mustache area. I've been dealing that for a couple of weeks, so uh, that's why I decided it's gone. I got an eyelash in my in my uh, eye. All right, Club Man, I decanted it in this hot sauce bottle. This is just regular Club Man. Uh, took a little bit of that plastic scent away. In fact, I think I'll let that kind of dry. And uh, I'm going to put some Paraso Blue on it since it has some aloe vera and vitamin E. And then tomorrow I will, uh, I'll shave with Speck, or Speak, Spike. And uh, it has a lot of good stuff in it uh, as well, healing powers. And go back over that with that. Let's let that heal up. Let me clean the razor off. So I'll probably keep it like this uh, for a couple of months, at least until this heat goes away, and uh, maybe it'll heal up enough to where it doesn't bother me. The only thing I hate about uh, shaving it is uh, I plan on going out to see my brother in October, and he's got a full beard, and I just feel naked anytime I'm around him without any facial hair. He's got like a real full beard. But I hope everybody's having a great week. I know tomorrow's Friday. This is my weekend. And uh, we're finishing to go to my parents' house, visit with them, uh, play with the babies. That's what I did. And what I do with this, what I do with this is I got a leather side on my strap. And then a webbing. Now the webbing has some chromium oxide, which I really don't use that much 
anymore since I got that uh, finishing stone. But after I shave, I run my blade across this webbing uh, about 12 to 15 times. Just a light pressure. Uh, just to make sure all the moisture is off of the uh, edge of the blade. And then I'll take my cotton hand towel, and that's it. Such a great blade. That was uh, brought to life by Fretsworks at fretsworks.com. I'll leave a link down in the show notes. All right, let's put on uh, some of this Parasol glue. I was in there shaving. You can get right up under your nose, but I know one of these days I'm gonna nick my snooter. <laughs> All right. I'll keep an eye on that and let you know tomorrow how uh, how long it takes for that redness to go away. Hopefully it won't be too long. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you sadistic people out there. And uh, Hopefully you don't mind too much. I figure I'll lose probably half my subscribers without a without a goatee, but or a mustache. I know a lot of people's gonna be mad about the mustache, but I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's for human it's for humanity's sake. Anyway, y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.